I thought I'd like to do a video on showing you how to plant a container rose. We have container roses available from February right the way through until September. When you purchase your rose from us, we tend to recommend to leave them in the container until end of May, early June, because what's happening then is the plant is setting out its white fibrous roots uh, in, in the pot there. If you try and plant them, say around April time, it will break the fibrous roots and, and the compost can fall away. So that sets them back a little bit. So that's why we recommend until probably end of May, early June. The ground here was a little bit dry. So what I did, I've, I've worked some well-rotted organic blended farmyard manure, which um, you can purchase at any garden center. And that enriched the soil so much. I put about a half a bag to put the rose uh, into, this, into this hole and that's made it so much better. It holds the moisture. It's um, so much uh, better you know, for the plant. So we've got fertilizer in there, but um, what we recommend is using top rose, top rose gold here, a handful of fertilizer, probably about an egg cupful at the bottom of the hole. Then another handful around the soil that you're going to backfill. You can see the depth that I've got of the hole there. It's about a spade's depth and a spade across there. I've already forked the bottom of the soil, so that's very important so that um, you know the uh, roots can get established. Then I put a half a watering can full of water to soak down through the bottom because it's going to be uh, dry. Then I have watered the rose before it goes in there, probably about one to two litres of water, just so it starts dripping out of the bottom. It's now settled itself down and it's ready to plant. As you can see here now, it's well uh, bedded in round the rose. So what I'm now going to do is just to backfill with the rose from the soil that I've taken out. There we go. Firm it nicely in like that. There we go, making sure that again it's nice and firm. And then finally, just fork it over at the top because you don't want your you, you don't want your foot marks on the soil because what will happen is the, the, the rain will go onto there and because it's compacted, it will just run away. So it's just nice to keep to leave the area nice and fluffy around it like that. And then finally, probably another half a watering can full of water and keep that nicely watered during the first summer because that's the important time for the roots to get established into the ground. Although we like to see the lovely flowers, the plant will come into survival mode. It really does want the roots to get established. And then if, it, if it's nice and moist during the summer months, then it'll shoot out nice flowers and uh, be very happy. So I hope that just helps you a little bit on planting a container rose. 